Are you ready for the next self-care activity? I'm really excited about this because essential oils is something that I absolutely love. And our one of our resident experts on essential oils is here today to walk you through Aroma Reset. So here's Tracy Frank. Hello. Hello everyone, um, I, I'm excited to be here to share with you a little bit today about um, aroma freedom, the aroma freedom technique and specifically using essential oils to support you. Um, that's my passion is supporting others to have more natural solutions in their health and wellness um, regimen. So my business is called Jade Lemonade and that's after an oil called Jade Lemon, uh, one of my favorites and just, um, just like to support people to find what works for them. So um, a lot of people are wondering like, is, is essential oils a new fad? And actually essential oils have um, been around for thousands of years um, in use for thousands of years. And they offer a variety of benefits um, from cosmetic to dietary to spiritual wellness um, and emotional support is what we're gonna use them for today. So what are they? Um, oils can be extra extracted from different um, pieces and parts of nature. So flowers and leaves and plants and roots. Um, and then they are either steam distilled, uh, there's resin tapping like frankincense comes from resin um, and cold pressing. So uh, fruits like jade lemon um, it are cold pressed. The rinds are cold pressed and that becomes the essential oil. And the purest essential oils are actually more powerful than the botanicals with, that they come from. So it's got, you're getting this concentrated form of the, um, of the plant. And your, the quality matters. So um, if you take a lavender field that has grown for a couple years, you harvest that um, and you steam distill it, that's very different than, um, and we have lavender fields here in the United States or in France. Um, if you go to the Middle East and tap um, resin from a uh, very old frankincense tree, that process is a lot more difficult. So that oil is going to be more expensive. So um, one way, the one thing that's really important to me is that we're using pure oils. And um, because, because oils are not regulated by any um, industry, there's no uh, regulation. And so really finding a company that you trust is important. And one way that you can tell is the price. So if the price is the same for a bottle of lavender as it is for a bottle of frankincense, you know right there that, um, that there's some alterations, some addition, something going on in the process. Um, I trust Young Living. I've been to their farms and really enjoy um, the purity of their products. Uh, Duterra is another company um, I believe Denise uses the, them and that a lot of people trust as well. Um, but just that's something to look into that buying your essential oils um, at TJ Maxx is where I saw them the other day. Um, just there's some caution in that because there's not any regulation and they can distill it six different times and you know, then it's not as concentrated and as pure. All right, so let's get on to the good stuff. How do we use essential oils in our house? Well, we use them topically for skincare. They can be absorbed into your um, bloodstream, but also like if you have a, a cut or something like that, um, a bruise. Um, so topically we use essential oils. We also use essential oils internally uh, for immune support, hormonal support, digestion. And that's actually another reason why I really wanna make sure you, the oils you use are pure. Um, and then lastly, we use oils for um, ar aromatically. So, use them in a diffuser. I have a bracelet on that has diffuser beads. You can have a simple diffuser like this with diffuser reeds, or you can have um, a diffuser like I have here um, and that you put oils and water in. So those are all options for having them aromatically. And the, one of the beauties of aromatically is that it can support your emotional wellness. And so the technique that we're gonna do today is called the Aroma um, Reset. And it's part of the aroma freedom technique. There's a whole bunch of techniques um, that, that range from uh, supporting past memory, past traumas, all the way to goal setting or intense anxieties. Uh, but the one we're gonna do today is a really quick one that you can do 
uh, whenever you have a chance. So I am just going to share my screen here quick. All right. So the aroma reset technique. Um, oh, I forgot that this is I this uh, slide was for um, the U brand activity that they're the U band brand that's coming up. So you don't have the oil with you, but I'm going to talk a little bit through the information about the process itself and how this works. And then the steps are here that so you can follow along when we get there. Um, if when we get to the part about you uh, experiencing it, if you have something that's a pure scent that you want to grab, like some lemon, um, lemon uh, juice or an actual lemon that you want to grab, so that you could you could use that for a scent, or if you have um, some fresh flowers, or um, even vanilla, straight pure vanilla can work for this activity. So if you have something that you want to grab for when we get to that part, that's great. Um, our sense of smell is, is our most primitive um, sense, the first one to develop, and it is connects us to that early age of feelings of safety and comfort and joy. And our smell is tied to survival. Um, our sense of smell is connected to our amygdala and that place in the brain where we have fight or flight. <laughs> and so we use our sense of smell to decide if something's safe, if something um, is something is enjoy going to be enjoyable, and our smell connects directly to our emotional brain, the um, olfactory nerve connects directly to the system in the brain, and that's where we process emotion, and we form a bonds of attachment in that same place in our brain as well. So we get stuck sometimes, right? Like the stress gets to us, and we encounter a situation that feels overwhelming, confusing, threatening. And we start to kind of lock up or lose our ability to make good decisions, to think clearly, to know what's best. So that's where Aroma Reset comes in. And it's a really simple process. You can do it in 60 seconds. I actually did it for myself right before we started um, this event. And it allows you to kind of reset your brain using a smell and, um, and go about your day in a better way. So I'm gonna walk through the steps. And like I said, if you have something to smell, great. If not, if you wanna just take a screenshot of the steps um, so that you can repeat this process when you do have a natural pure smell to use. All right, step one, identify a current situation that feels overwhelming, frustrating, or confusing. Get a clear picture of that situation in your head. So what currently in your life feels overwhelming, frustrating, or confusing? And get a clear picture of that in your mind. If you want to close your eyes so you can get a clear picture, go ahead. Step two, find one word that describes how you feel when you picture this situation. Do you feel sad, hopeless, lonely, fearful, angry, depressed? What one word feeling goes with this picture of this situation. Step three, locate this feeling in your body. Notice where, where this feeling is. Is it in your head, your heart, your chest, your shoulders, your belly, or somewhere else?
And the next step, step four, is to identify the negative thought that's connected to this feeling. Examples could be, I'm afraid. I don't have enough time. I'm not smart enough. The negative thoughts are something that aren't true, but are something that's connected to, it's a, 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 a thought that's connected to this feeling right now that we need to let go of in order to move forward. So listen to yourself and identify that negative thought. Okay, if you have something to smell right now or pause if you're watching this and go grab something. And like I said, something pure is best. Vanilla, uh, pure vanilla extract or pure lemon juice or a, a piece of fruit or flowers work well or an essential oil. Um, when I do it, I use lavender, frankincense and a blend called Stress Away. And I actually keep these three in a um, jar mixed together. So if you have lavender or frankincense, or if you have the Stress Away blend, you can, you can even use those. What you want to do is you want to get a drop of the oil, of each of the oils, or whatever you're using on your hand. Rub your hands together and cup your hands up over your nose and breathe the oil in deeply. Inhale deeply while you focus on this situation, while you focus on the feeling, the emotion that's connected. Breathe the scent into the place in your body where you feel this feeling and breathe the scent into the negative thought. Notice what happens to the picture of the situation Notice how you feel in your body and in your mind. Keep breathing in the scent until you feel that something has softened or shifted in your body or in your emotions. Breathe the oil in deeply for a minute or two until you feel more relaxed, calm, and clear. And step six is hopefully something has shifted or you feel a little lighter or the um, situation that's that you identify that you started with doesn't feel quite as intense as it did a few minutes ago. Um, it's not, this, the process doesn't take the problem away, but it hopefully softens your energy around it and your negative thinking around it and your negative feelings about it. And this is a, a technique, like I said, you can use this daily. Um, you can use this I use it multiple times a day. Um, and you can use this for any simple stress. Um, and, and like I said, the Aroma Freedom suite of techniques covers, it's a lot more intense. So those, those techniques are um, typically 30 to 45 minutes um, and they would go in more depth. They're similar in some of the questions, but they'd go in more depth to maybe uh, letting go of a past trauma or setting a new intention and a goal for your future, working on an area of procrastination. So all those strategies are techniques that I do as well and offer through You Define Wellness. Um, and I am part of the, um, the savings card, the Healthy Living Savings card. So um, we would enjoy doing a session for you if you're interested. My information is on here too with my website, which lists all of my different services. Um, also do some work with um, releasing emotional patterns with essential oils. So if you have a specific emotion that kind of keeps coming back up, like grief, 
um, or, uh, you know, struggle with depression, something like that, that you want to come back to, um, that you keep coming back to, we can look up that emotion and find out which oil matches with it um, and set up a time for, I can mail that oil to you. I do all my sessions virtually. Um, I can mail that to you and we can um, set up a time to work through that and give you some um, techniques of, you know, how to use that oil and where to use that oil. So I really enjoy um, supporting others through these techniques. I was certified a few years ago in the Aroma Freedom Technique and um, the Aroma Reset has, has been a lifesaver over and over. So I'm glad to gift that to you today and uh, let me know if I can support you in any other way. Thank you.